So now we need to think about how to set up this condition. Uh, so for example, if I tell you, well, in order to get an A star for your physics and do really well in your study and enjoy your physics lesson, you have to be a student that's motivated and find it interesting, but I don't tell you how to be that student, then a bit difficult, right? So we need condition, but also sometimes we need to explain people how we form that condition. That will be the explanation. Okay, the explanation of formation of standing wave. Or you can also call it stationary wave. So this explanation, you always must refer, I guess I'm just going to write a asterisk here, refer to the setup. Later when you look at the more example videos, we will show you the setup. But right now, I show you in drawing. Lah. Remember, we need two waves traveling in opposite direction. And the easiest way for us to get the opposite direction goodness is reflection. Okay, let me give you a first example. Here's a string that I tie on a vibrator. And this vibrator is going to move up and down, you know. Of course you do. It's a vibrator. You are well experienced. So this vibrator is going to move up and down, generating a string wave like this. So this is the incident wave. Incident hits the wall, and we can assume that the wall is a pretty perfect reflector of this string wave. Reflects here, meaning now you will have a wave like this moving in the opposite direction. Uh, reflected wave. So both of these will meet, obviously, because they are already traveling in the opposite direction, they will meet, okay? So they meet, and then uh, they look identical, so they probably will form standing wave. Okay? So this is string wave, and uh, if the reflection is perfect, which to idealize the situation and to simplify our study, we will always assume that the reflection is perfect. You will always get a standing wave, all right? Here's a simulation that I can show you. So imagine there's a vibrator on this side and it is vibrating the particles. So you can see there's a very slow string wave form. It's moving from the left to the right. Chilla, chilla, okay? And you might be thinking, teacher, this is the incident wave. Ah, yes. Will it reflect? Yes. Okay. So when it reflects, it will reflect on this vertical boundary, like a wall. Then you can see this is the reflected wave. The blue color is the reflected wave. I am just going to pause it here. Okay. Let's check. Do they have the same amplitude? Looks like it. Do they also have the same period? Looks like it. Which means, since they are traveling in opposite direction, now you can see, nah, they are meeting, right? They are literally overlapping. Ah, this is the overlap on top of each other. They meet. So based on this, right, if I show the resultant wave, ta-da! Look carefully. The resultant wave is beautiful. In fact, let me take away the incident wave, take away the reflected wave. This is our standing wave. All right, so this is how we form stationary wave. The easiest way is to have a reflector on one end that will create the opposite direction condition. Okay, so this is me. If you like to, you can use the word overlap. Depends on what's the image going on your head. Okay, so to explain these, okay, I want to point out that these are also other form of, uh, you know, stationary wave setup. So how do you know uh, that there is stationary wave because you know, Miss Lee, just now all you mentioned cannot see the wave moving out, we only see the resultant. So, what do you observe on the string? Okay, if you need to, I'll pull this one back. What do we observe? Oops, what do we observe on the string? Do you notice that there are certain points that never move? Chill, of course, the Stationary wave is standing, so it's not going to move. Now, these points are known as nodes. 
permanently stationary, never move at all. But then you get a very hyper A. See, wow, so low. Wow, so high. Mood swings, bro. Wow, so low. This is called anti note. Notes never move, anti notes will move. Later we'll draw a picture, but I want to show you that there are certain points that it will not move, and then there are certain points that they will move a lot. So you will see this pattern on the string. Okay, later on there'll be a video for you to look at it in real life. But generally speaking, the observation on the strings are notes and anti notes. So the main point here is that we can definitely see notes. Notes are more obvious. These notes are stationary points. Okay, notes are stationary points. Okay, and then you can say notes and anti notes lah. All right. So here's the observation string. We can use our eye to see, but the interesting thing about wave is string wave is not the only wave we study right we also study sound wave so to generate sound wave we need a signal generator so if you've played with it before in class you know it has a buzz it goes right it's a pitch so if i put the signal generator maybe i tune the signal generator and i put la 400 hertz uh -huh. but signal generator it's like a cpu without a monitor cannot see nothing CPU without a speaker cannot hear nothing. So we need to connect to a speaker. Okay, so the signal generator will tell the speaker to release vibration, good vibes, sound wave into the tube. Incident wave. No, 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 no. What do you, what, what is happening here? This is a closed end, right? This tube is a bit like a, you know, a saxophone. You blow, you put your finger, nah, 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 you blow inside the tube. Ah. So this one will reflect here. Meaning you will have a reflected wave. Now this is longitudinal, so I draw like this. But later when we go into the actual examples, you will actually see how it looks like, okay? But right now, you just need to see that the conditions are fulfilled. Incident wave, reflected wave, uh, this means me being lazy. Both will also meet and overlap to form standing wave. But what do we observe? Miss, I cannot see the notes. Lah. What is note, note all? I cannot even see the sound wave coming out from your mouth into the, the mic. Of course, can, can. We cannot see air particle, but we can hear. Okay, so when stationary wave is formed, we hear something. So when we get that nice stationary wave formed, the observation here is loud sound. So if condition fulfilled, okay, the first observation on the string you will see and note stationary points. For this, we call this generally a closed air column. Uh, maybe I'll draw a line. So on the string, notes and anti notes. For close, or rather, this is just an air column. I'm just going to call this an air column. What we will observe is loud sound. Don't forget, your senses also got ear, can hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's level up some more. Let's look at the next one. Of course, you see a wave source here. And this one is a microwave source. So you realize that, I don't know whether you do, but all of these are wave sources. Just different kind of wave. You have your string wave, you have your sound wave, and now you have your microwave, which is your electromagnetic wave. Oh, I miss this one. Too high tech. I cannot la, miss. Cannot see the microwave. Huh? I heat up my oatmeal early in the morning. I cannot see the microwave inside my oatmeal. Yes, yes, we cannot see. But we don't need to see it. We can detect it. 
Ooh. So, in between, okay, let me let me let me show you the incident wave. So you got the incident microwave is uh, coming, it's it's on the way, right? And then again, you realize that reflection also happened here. So we always must have a reflection. Normally we put a metal reflector, which is just a shiny piece of metal, okay? Then you will have the reflected wave coming. Okay, I don't want to label it. I think you get the idea. Okay, they will overlap. Then you will form stationary wave. Okay, the one I want to talk to you about is how do we detect this for electromagnetic wave? Okay, please understand that just because you cannot see the nodes and anti nodes doesn't mean it's not there. Okay, so inside here you will see, so maybe on the string you will see a bunch of nodes. I'm just gonna label them here, maybe one here, one here, one here. So this one, oh, uh, we call them node. Uh, I just wanna label this one as n. Okay, we see a bunch of n's there, all right, for nodes. So this one we definitely can see. All this point on the string looks like it's not moving. Okay, other points are moving. Uh, it's just standing there and chill. For signal generator, although we cannot hear, you know, a loud sound, but there are certain points where the particles are not really moving. So there are nodes here. Everywhere else the particle move. Uh, here the particle don't move. Okay, so for this one, there will also be positions of nodes. So when your microwave detector you know, the detector D. So the detector D. If there is maximum reading. Okay, la, you are a smart person. Okay, I show you the wave that is in between. If you've got maximum reading, do you think it's N? Where there is, where the wave just may cancel each other out? In fact, I can just show you this. Always at node, they cancel. Always. There's nothing here. So here we have minimum reading. And anti node, wow, the reading is either maximum or decrease to maximum the opposite direction. So anti node is when you have maximum reading because you look at this particle, move so high energy. Okay, a detector picks up the energy of the microwave. So all these anti node, high energy. energy. Okay, all this you know, high energy and all this node minimum energy. Don't say no la paise. Go a bit la. Okay, maybe some background, maybe the reflection not perfect. But maximum reading is what we call the anti node A. And the minimum reading is what we call a node. So how do we find all of this anti node and node? Well, very simple. You move the detector. Okay. So this detector is moved. So I move it here or I move it here and then I just trace. Look. I look at the reading. Ah, so if I observe the meter reading drop to a minimum point, note. So now the meter reading is minimum. Okay, if I put the meter here and the detector also, then here would be maximum reading. Okay, so that's how we uh, explain the formation of stationary wave. We have to cover all of these points, okay? And also we have to be a bit adaptable. These are the common setup, and it's probably most of the setup that you will see. But don't be surprised if they give you something you totally never bring before. Wow! I just need a soap wave source. Number one. And number two, I need a reflector. With a wave source and a reflector, I get stationary wave. Okay, let's write that down. So this is the first setup that you need to talk about. We have, if let's say they give you a general one, then you just say two wave traveling the opposite direction. But if they draw something like that for you, you know, the one like beside my head, then you should say the wave from vibrator travel on the string towards the wall and is reflected. Something like that.
Okay, be specific, answer to the question. Right, number two, what happens to the reflected wave and the incident wave? They overlap. Then you can say that the reflected wave and the incident wave, what's the word again? Meet or overlap. Meet. Overlap also can. All right. So when you say reflected, it's sort of implied that they are opposite direction. Now. But just to be extra, extra sure, I will now conclude that since the reflected and the incident waves are the same, and by the same, I mean have the same amplitude, wavelength, and frequency, standing waves is formed. Okay, so generally speaking, in paper two, um, they could ask you a general one. For example, what are the conditions for stationary wave? Then that would be the first two points. Okay, they could also ask you to explain how a specific setup gives you stationary wave. So you can say vibrator wave reflect at the wall, incident reflected ray wave overlap, and then you reiterate the condition. So generally, this explanation is two to three marks, but then the condition is eh, most of the time two marks. Okay. So be sure that if they ask you to explain the setup, then you talk about what setup you see inside the question. It can be a loudspeaker for sound wave, it can be a vibrator, you know, it can be this one. All right. So that's it for this part where we understand that there's this special wave called standing wave and the conditions that the wave can form.